you can also easily calculate the area of any feature in your map project. Again, you do this using the measure area or the measure tool and specify to the measure area. Again, also you can specify the units, so square meters, square kilometers, square feet, and so forth. And also, do you want to use the Cartesian or the ellipsoidal functionality? The one uses a planar view and the other one uses the curved surface of the Earth. In a small zoomed in area like this, there is no real difference between the two. Let's say now I want to calculate the area of the little sliver of the polygon here. I simply click along its outline and when I'm done drawing the outline, it will give me the area here, so square meters, or I can change it, for example, to hectares, and it will give me 664 roughly hectares here. I can, of course, do this as much as I want, simply drawing the outline of the feature of interest, and as I draw, the software will automatically calculate the area that that particular feature has, so 2,648 hectares roughly here. This functionality is very similar to the calculate or add geometry attributes. However, here you are drawing in the map itself using your mouse, whereas using the add geometry attributes, the software automatically calculates, for example, for a polygon vector layer, it will calculate the area of each individual entry within that layer. Whereas when you draw it, you have to do it one by one. And that concludes this video.